It might start with a casual craving, a quick reach into a brightly colored bag, and the unmistakable crunch of satisfaction. Potato chips are more than just a snack. They're a cultural icon, a universal guilty pleasure, and a multi-billion dollar global industry. But have you ever wondered how that perfectly golden, feather-light, evenly crisp chip ends up in your hand? This is the story of how raw, earthy potatoes are transformed into the irresistible chips we all love. It happens fast, with machines that slice in milliseconds, fryers that reach blazing heat, and factories where every single chip is scanned, seasoned, and sealed with scientific precision. From soil to supermarket shelf, this is how potato chips are made. Chapter 1. Harvest to Factory The Perfect Potato the journey begins long before the factory floor in acres of farmland where specialized potatoes are cultivated specifically for chip production. Varieties like Lady Rosetta, Atlantic, or Russet Burbank are bred for their high starch and low sugar content, ideal for producing crisp, non-soggy chips that don't brown too quickly. Timing is everything. Once harvested, these potatoes are transported to the factory within hours to preserve freshness and reduce sugar buildup. As massive trucks pull in, the potatoes are offloaded onto a vibrating conveyor system. These belts agitate the load just enough to allow dirt and small debris to fall away before the real cleaning begins. High-pressure water cannons blast away any residual soil while spinning brushes scrub their surfaces clean. Any stray stones or foreign materials are removed using density separators or optical sorters. What remains is a clean batch of uniform, high-quality potatoes ready for transformation. Chapter 2. Precision, Peeling and Inspection Next, the freshly washed potatoes are ushered into the peeling zone. There are two main methods of peeling in industrial production. Abrasive peelers use high-friction rollers to rub away the skin, while steam peelers use short bursts of superheated steam to separate the skin from the flesh. The latter is more efficient and reduces waste, which is important when you're processing thousands of kilos per hour. After peeling, the potatoes are sent through a final inspection stage where automated vision systems scan for green spots, bruises, or defects. Advanced AI-powered sensors detect imperfections faster and more accurately than any human could, ejecting flawed potatoes with a puff of air. This ensures that only pristine potatoes move on to the slicing stage. Chapter 3. Slicing in milliseconds. This is where the transformation truly begins. Each potato is funneled into a centrifugal slicing machine equipped with ultra-sharp rotating blades. Spinning at over 3,000 revolutions per minute, these machines slice potatoes into perfect uniform rounds in a fraction of a second. The thickness of each slice is crucial. At approximately 1.3 millimeters, it's just enough to retain structure while still delivering that signature crunch. Different blade settings can produce variations, classic flat chips, wavy ridges, or thick cut kettle chips. The precision is astounding. One wrong setting could mean burnt chips or soggy undercooked ones. Every blade is laser calibrated to guarantee consistency across thousands of chips per minute. Chapter four, a rinse, then a ride to the fryer. Before frying, the sliced chips take a brief bath. This rinse stage removes excess surface starch, which could cause clumping or off colors during frying. The slices then pass through powerful air knives or centrifugal dewatering systems that remove moisture and prepare them for the oil. Now comes the heart of the process. The fryer. Long conveyor belts carry the potato slices into vats of hot oil, usually sunflower, canola, or corn oil, kept at a precise 170 to 190 degrees Celsius. The chips sizzle and bubble as moisture escapes and they begin to puff slightly, turning golden. The timing is precisely controlled, just around three minutes per batch. Sensors continuously monitor oil temperature, chip color, and cooking time. If anything is out of spec, automated systems make real-time adjustments to keep every chip perfect. This is where the crunch is born. Chapter 5. Seasoning with Scientific Precision As the chips exit the fryer, they are hot, golden, and glistening. 
They immediately move to an inclined belt which drains excess oil and cools them slightly. From here, they enter the seasoning drum, a large rotating cylinder where flavor is added. Whether it's classic sea salt, tangy barbecue, sour cream and onion, or spicy jalapeno, the seasoning is applied in precisely measured quantities. Automated dispensers spray or dust the chips while they tumble inside the drum, ensuring even coverage. But seasoning isn't just about taste, it's a science. The powders are engineered to stick using a mix of oils and starches, and even airflow and humidity levels are adjusted to ensure optimal adhesion. The goal is simple. Every chip in every bag should taste exactly the same. Chapter 6. Quality Control and Inspection At this stage, every chip has been fried and flavored, but not all make the final cut. High-speed vision systems scan for overcooked chips, folded edges, or foreign objects. Defective chips are instantly blown off the conveyor using targeted jets of air. Sample batches are pulled hourly for lab testing, where technicians measure oil content, crunch factor, seasoning distribution, and even color values using colorimeters. Chips that don't meet the standard never reach the bagging line. Only those that pass every test move forward. Chapter 7. Packaging the Crunch Now it's time to seal in the crunch. Weighed portions of chips are dropped into open foil bags using vertical form-fill seal machines. These bags aren't just containers, they're scientifically designed barriers. Just before sealing, nitrogen gas is flushed into the bag. This inert gas displaces oxygen, preventing oxidation and spoilage. It also cushions the chips during transport, protecting them from breaking. The bags are heat sealed in milliseconds, stamped with a batch number and expiration date, and dropped into cartons. Within minutes, hundreds of bags are ready for distribution. Chapter 8. Global Distribution of a Snack Sensation From the packaging room, pallets of potato chips head to massive distribution centers. There, they are scanned, sorted, and dispatched to destinations across the world. Some will appear in supermarket aisles, others in vending machines, gas stations, or school cafeterias. In less than 48 hours, a potato that was in the ground can be on a shelf, crisp and ready to eat. With factories operating around the clock, millions of bags are produced daily. Yet each one is held to the same gold standard of taste, texture, and quality. So the next time you reach into a bag of chips, remember, what seems like a casual snack is actually the result of years of agricultural planning, food science, and mechanical engineering. From precision slicing and high-speed frying to automated seasoning and nitrogen-flushed bags, each chip carries the story of a factory that never sleeps. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the factory where flavor meets technology, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. We bring you inside the machines that make your world work. Got a favorite snack or product you'd love us to explore next? Leave a comment below. Until next time, stay curious and stay crunchy.